Practice Test Examination 131100. Do not drive even if you have only had a little to drink. True. When a person has had a regular driver's license for less than one year, he she must attach a beginner's mark on the regular passenger vehicle. However, you do not have to display the mark when driving a regular sized truck. False. You may ride double on mopeds as long as the passenger also wears a crash helmet. False. In order to assume the proper posture for riding a two-wheeled vehicle with automatic transmission, you should put the entire soles of your shoes on the steps and point your toes forward without letting them protrude outward of the steps. True. You should confirm safe conditions not only before getting in the vehicle but also after signaling to move forward. True. Proceed left side of lane immediately while you are going to turn left side from the intersection. False. Wheelbase differential refers to the allowance when you turn the steering wheel inwardly. False. When turning to the left vehicles must move toward the left side of the road in advance, and proceed at a reduced speed along the periphery of the intersection. True. It is important for drivers not to be selfish, but to have a give and take spirit, to consider others, and respect pedestrians and or other drivers. True. You must not apply sudden braking unless it is inevitable that you do so in order to alleviate danger. True. Mopeds may not pass or overtake other vehicles at a pedestrian crossing, a bicycle crossing or within 30 meters of these crossings. True. Since a moped in front was wobbling its way, you attempted to overtake the moped, but you realized that a car behind you was just about to overtake your vehicle, so you decided not to overtake the moped. True. While riding on a motorcycle you proceed through the side strip at a reduced speed because there was a lot of traffic. False. When a driver looks directly into the headlights of oncoming vehicles, his her vision is temporarily impeded by the glare, which is very dangerous. Try not to look directly into the headlights of oncoming vehicles. True. You do not have to stop at the stop line of a railroad crossing right after the crossing bar has risen. False. When a driver approaches his pedestrian crossing and is not sure whether or not there are pedestrians crossing, he or she must reduce speed enough to be able to stop before entering the pedestrian crossing. True. When noticing an emergency vehicle approaching before reaching an intersection, a driver must move to the left side of the road, come to a stop, and not enter the intersection. True. A learner driver with a learner's permit may drive on a public road without passengers. False. Vehicles that have a permit to proceed through streetcar tracks may stay on the tracks even when a streetcar is approaching from behind. False. Mopeds may proceed at a speed of 40 km per hour on a road where a traffic sign designates the vehicles to proceed at the maximum speed of 40 km per hour. False. On roads having no sidewalk or side strip. Four-wheeled vehicles must not drive within 0.5 meters of the edge of the road. True. If a person applying for license renewal is the age of 65 or over at the renewal period expiration date, that person must take a senior driver's course within six months of the expiration date. False. 
mopeds, which are required to make a right turn using the two-stage method, also may proceed when the signal is a green arrow pointing to the right. False. If you are approaching an intersection and your lane is direction designated as well as bounded by a yellow line, you must not change lanes across that line even if you wish to turn at the intersection. True. Driving before the issuance of a driver's license is equivalent to driving without a license. True. It is prohibited to park within 5 meters of fire hydrants and fire safety water tanks. True. When the facing traffic signal is green, automobiles may proceed straight ahead or make a left or right turn. However, there are some intersections where motorized bicycles may proceed straight ahead or make a left turn but may not make a right turn. True. It is dangerous to use a cell phone or watch the screen of the care navigation system while driving, because you will have diminished attention to the surrounding traffic. True. When riding a two-wheeled vehicle in a priority lane for route buses, you kept on going even though you saw a kindergarten bus approaching from behind. False. The driver's seat of large vehicles or medium-sized vehicles. Semi-medium-sized vehicles is located higher than regular vehicles. As a result of it the driver of such a vehicle has to look down and feels the distance between his car and the vehicle in front longer than the actual distance. So the distance between such vehicles tends to be short. True. On a road where the roadway and sidewalks are separated, vehicles must. In principle, proceed on the roadway. However, vehicles may proceed on sidewalks when entering or leaving roadside locations. True. Since two-wheeled vehicles must stay on the left side of roads, when they overtake other vehicles, they must do so on the left side of the vehicles. False. When making a left turn at an intersection, a driver must be careful because the rear wheels might hit pedestrians or cyclists due to a wheelbase differential. True. When a child is walking unattended, you should sound your car horn and pass the child as fast as possible. False. You need a large size vehicle license to operate trucks having a gross weight of over 11 tons, 11,000 kilograms, or a maximum cargo weight of over 6.5 tons, 6,500 kilograms. True. You may drive a microbus carrying 11 passengers with a regular driver's license. False. A green light means all vehicles may proceed straight ahead or turn to the left or right. False. Novice drivers, those driving for less than one year on a regular driver's license are obliged to display a novice driver sign in order to have drivers in the vicinity notice and watch out for them. True. You initiated to overtake a vehicle 100 meters in advance of a pedestrian crossing, but you realized that you approached within 30 meters of the crossing, so you dropped back behind the other vehicle. True. The stopping distance refers to the distance from the point at which the brakes are applied to the point at which the vehicle comes to a complete halt. False. When applying the brakes, first depress the brake pedal as lightly as possible, and then gradually apply more pressure as needed. True. A driver who caused an accident must take total responsibility for the accident, while the owner of a vehicle who has left the doors of the car unlocked and ended up having his her car stolen, should not be held responsible for the accident. False. 
even in areas prohibited to overtake. Large or regular size motorcycles are allowed to overtake mopeds. Motorized bicycles. False. Motorized bicycles are permitted to proceed on a bicycle path only when there are no bicycles on it. False. When approaching a pedestrian crossing, stop when people are crossing the street. If people are about to cross the street, move ahead slowly and with caution. False. The reason for setting up limitations on the size and capacity of loads is to alleviate potential dangers and avoid disturbing others in the traffic. True. The designated maximum speed on general roads is 60 km per hour for regular passenger vehicles, but 50 km per hour for regular trucks. False. You must not park your vehicle continuously in the same spot on public roads for more than 12 hours during the day, or 8 hours at night. True. Sometimes it is safer to go off the road than to risk colliding into an oncoming vehicle. True. On a road where the road and the sidewalks are not separated, vehicles must slow down when passing near a pedestrian. False. Because visibility ahead is poor near the top of a hill and it is therefore very dangerous. Stopping or parking are prohibited at such locations except when it is unavoidable, to prevent accidents. True. When starting the vehicle, it is advisable for a driver to check the vehicle's surroundings, give a signal that you are about to move, and check the safety around the vehicle again after the signal. True. You must slow down when passing through an intersection, which is regulated by traffic lights and has poor visibility. False. It is advisable to get into or out of the automobile through the left side door if traffic is heavy. True. The car horn is very useful because you can sound the car horn when you give a signal to your colleague driving in the opposite direction, or when you want to let others know that you have arrived. False. Being able to walk a two-wheeled vehicle through a full figure eight is also one of the requirements for selecting an appropriate vehicle type. True. The height limit for cargo on trucks, large-sized trucks, medium-sized cargo vehicles, and heavy special equipment is 3.8 meters from the ground. True. It is advisable to avoid driving when the atmosphere has been contaminated with photochemical smog or when it is forecasted that the air will be polluted. True. Under no circumstances, should regular vehicles enter the priority lanes for route buses and similar. False. When a driver is tired, the reaction distance becomes longer because it takes longer for the driver to sense dangerous situations and act accordingly. True. When the rider of the motorcycle gave the hand signal shown on the left, the vehicle approaching the rear of the motorcycle promptly steered to the right. False. The designated maximum speed on general roads is 60 km per hour for automobiles and 30 km per hour for mopeds. True. When you drive on roads in urban districts, where there is a lot of traffic during nighttime hours, you are advised to switch on high beams so that the drivers on the oncoming traffic would not be dazzled by the lights. False. When a driver has a cold or a fever and may not be able to drive normally, he she should use a taxi to go to hospital, avoiding driving him herself. True. 
It is prohibited to stop or park within 5 meters of the periphery of a roadwork site. False. When passing by an oncoming vehicle on the uphill slope, you proceeded at the same speed, even though there was a space provided for passing each other, because vehicles going uphill had the right of way. False. When there is a school or kindergarten bus and children are getting on and off, a vehicle must slow down to pass the bus while paying attention to children who might suddenly run onto the road. True. The owner of a vehicle must not lend his her car to someone who has been drinking alcohol or who does not have a driver's license. True. If the headlights of oncoming vehicles are too bright to your eyes, you should look directly at them so as to adjust your eyes to the brightness. False. When passing a school bus or kindergarten bus, which has stopped to drop the children off, you must always stop behind the bus and confirm safety. False. If the green light turns yellow when you have reached the position, you must come to an immediate stop inside the intersection. False. A driver must sound the vehicle's horn where there is a traffic sign as shown in the figure, even if he or she does not observe danger. True. When a streetcar is stopped at a station located inside a safety zone, you must stop behind the streetcar and wait until all the passengers have finished getting on and off. False. The maximum load height for large size trucks is less than 3.8 meters from the load carrying platform. False. When parking a four-wheeled vehicle on level ground or on a downhill slope, you should shift the gear into reverse, and for a vehicle with automatic transmission, shift the change lever into P position. True. When driving at night and the glaring headlights of oncoming vehicles are disturbing to your eyes you should look ahead and focus your eyes slightly to the left. True. Yellow pavement markings indicate stronger regulations than those indicated with white pavement markings. True. A person who is under the age of 20, and has had a large or regular size motorcycle license for less than 3 years may ride double on expressways. False. While riding a two-wheeled vehicle, the driver of a fur or yield vehicle will not overlook your motorcycle as long as you are within eyeshot of the car driver. False. The temperature gauge indicates the temperature of the engine coolant and the indicator needle should be positioned somewhere close to the midpoint between the C and the H to be optimal. True. Parking is prohibited in the areas within 10 meters of the signboard, sign poles, of a bus stop during business hours. However, stopping is not prohibited in such areas. False. When driving on the road where the traffic is light, you should only mind your own driving needs because other people and vehicles would not be inconvenienced by your conduct. False. A driver overtake a truck inside a tunnel with vehicular lanes. True. You are prohibited from cutting in front of, or driving too close to vehicles displaying a learner driver mark. However, it is not prohibited from doing so to vehicles displaying senior driver or physically disabled driver marks. False. The term engine braking refers to taking your foot off from the accelerator pedal to utilize the negative pressure within the cylinders to reduce the speed. True. When proceeding on a steep downhill, you caught up to a slow moving moat, so you overtook the moped. False. 
A safe speed refers to driving at a speed that is regulated by law. False. When you drive at night, it is advisable to focus your eyes up close because the field of vision is narrowed down at night. False. When the arm of a driver is extended out of the vehicle downward and diagonally, his her hand signal means that he she is intending to back up. False. It is effective to hang dangle dollies on the rear view mirror because they reduce the monotony of driving and add fun to driving. False. When you apply the brakes of two wheeled vehicles you should apply the rear wheel brake more firmly when the road surface is dry, and apply the front wheel brake more firmly when the road surface is wet. False. You must not stop on the main through lanes of expressways under any circumstances. False. The number shown on the inspection emblem indicates the month and the year of the next inspection date. True. On a road with a staggered signal, drivers must look at the signal ahead. They should not assume that the signal ahead will be timed to turn green when an oncoming vehicle starts moving. True. You must not make U-turns. Cross the median strip or enter into the oncoming lane on the main through lanes. However, you are allowed to back up if it is just for the minimum distance required. False. I drove a cargo vehicle whose maximum loading capacity was 4 tons, with my regular license. False. Wearing seat belts helps reduce injury in cases of an accident. True. When a driver approaches a toll gate on an expressway, it is important to pay attention to other vehicles around, as accidents caused by changing lanes and inattentive driving frequently occur near toll gates. True. When giving way to an emergency vehicle, a vehicle must move to the left side of the road even when proceeding on a one-way road. False. Two-wheeled vehicles have high maneuverability, but you must not squeeze between other vehicles. True.